It's day two of our cruise, and we have just docked at Catalina Island. Actually, we're not docking because we're taking a little boat in, So, but we've just stopped at Catalina Island, and it's seven in the morning, so we're gonna go grab some breakfast and see if we can be one of the first off the boat. Let's do it. Everybody's sleeping. Because we're still on Central Time. You're going the wrong way. No, you're going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. That's the story of my life. Hi, this is Amy with TPF Trips, Places, and Fun, where we show you how to have fun and exciting family-friendly adventures we are on our second day of our carnival cruise and behind me is beautiful Catalina Island. And so we're going to check it out. We don't have any shore excursions planned for this stop. So we're going to get off and just kind of see what we can find. And um, Who's your friend? Oh, I have a little seagull friend. These guys are not afraid of people. They, I think, are used to us and this is probably how they get fed. <laughs> Hello, what's his name? We gotta name him. Why do we have to name everything? <laughs> well, we have to. We're making friends on our Scuttles. Trip. Scuttles? Isn't that the one from The Little Mermaid? Yeah, I don't know. But look how pretty it is back there. It's beautiful. So we, we woke up and we saw this and we were so excited. So we are going to go check it out and we've heard rumors of maybe golf cart rentals which we might do if we can find an affordable one or we may just walk around. I don't know, we'll see what there is. Really I excited. I want to eat lobster. There's a lobster restaurant. What do you think about that? Uh, maybe. Hey look, this ship is based out of Nassau. We were there. We were there. That's a long way away. I wonder what that big round building is. We're going to find out. We know they have botanical gardens here. They have a bunch of different things you can do, like swimming with dolphins, and you can rent little boat kayaks and stuff to boat around here. But yeah, we'll see. Everything's all wet. Where is everybody? Well, I think, okay, so confession, because we still are on Central Time. We went to bed at 9 p.m., and I think everybody else stayed up late doing stuff, watching shows all that and we were sleeping so now now everybody else is sleeping in Norway. ship and a boat we have learned because we were using ship and boat interchangeably for a while on our first cruise and and we were corrected which rightfully so rightfully so because this is a boat and that is a ship so this is life-saving equipment so if something goes wrong I think you just throw that barrel overboard and hang on to it. What equipment is it? I mean, it's not life jackets, right? Because we have that. Is it food items? Oh, look, it's a raft. Oh. Ooh, look how pretty this is. Oh, I got it. Look at that submarine. Wow. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna have to post a bunch of pictures later because this is incredible. Can't even decide what's the best. It's amazing. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It reminds me of um, that Universal Studios hotel we stayed at. What was the name of that? Oh yeah, I forgot what the name was. With of all the boats in the water. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I thought you were gonna say it reminds you of the Universal Studios Jaws ride. No. Where, the, where the shark comes up right here. No. I missed that ride. They should never have taken it out. I don't know that they know 
I'm glad we got up early. I'm glad we're still in Central Time Zone. We can spend all the time we can here. So pretty. Wow, it's so incredible. I can't believe our Uber driver said Catalina Island was eh. How can it be eh? It's like amazing. <laughs> we successfully made it through all the <laughs> photo takers. Yeah, we feel like we have enough photos of ourselves. We probably don't need any more. Wow. Boy, smell the, smell the ocean. I do smell the ocean. So you we're going to check on golf cart rentals. Let's, They're kind of expensive. Oh, but. here, that couple's going there too, the one we were talking to. Let's cross our fingers, because we heard online you could get them for $40, but the one place we saw with a website online said $100. And I saw that you can do one hour or two hours, and they're saying definitely two hours is the only way to really see the island. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this is more reasonable than $100. I doubt it is. Also, I have to use the restroom. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. John's, We're in our golf cart. John's driving the golf cart. Woo! So it turns out it costs us, uh, it's $50 an hour cash, or if you have to go to a different place that takes credit cards, it's $70 an hour. But well, we got an hour free. But yes, if you pay for two hours, you get an hour free. So we got three hours for $100. That's not too bad. So is that camera facing the way it should? Can you tell? Or are you? I'm seeing you. You see, you are, you're seeing with, me? Yeah, with the cruise ship in the background right. and the ocean. And so I think this is worth it because this way we can see all of the, the sites of Catalina Island and we will be able to see um, the botanical gardens and gardens. Uh, so within our three hours I think we can see most of the island and then when we turn this in then we can go eat lunch and stuff after we turn this in at 11 30. So yeah our um, golf rental place opened at 8 30 so 10 minutes after we got off the boat it opened and we were second in line so but they sell out quickly they said so if you want to rent a golf cart on Catalina Island, you should probably, you know, be one of the first boats in and be one of the first in line. Or make a reservation, actually. Or make a reservation, actually. <laughs> so what do you think about this view? There's our boat. That's I mean, amazing. Ship. Yes, so here we are now above Catalina Island. We took our golf cart way up onto the mountainside and there you can see our ship our carnival cruise ship in the back so that's super cool look at these views man all right let's see what else we can see amy wants to drive i'm gonna drive mostly not because i'm interested in driving a golf cart cart but because you freak me out a little bit being on these high mountain roads and going so close to the edge. <laughs> I just feel more comfortable driving myself. I'm a very safe driver. <laughs> you freak me out a little bit. Ah, help me! Oh my goodness, I wish we could show you t this to y'all in person because it is amazing. But look, over to my right, we have our Carnival cruise ship and you can see the little boat, the water taxi bringing people back and forth and then scan over here and you've got this beautiful countryside of Catalina Island with the, the, sh the little boats camped out there. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty and the weather is perfect, it's amazing. The weather couldn't be more perfect. The temperature is incredible. I can hear all the oohs and ahs back there. All these other golf carts <laughs> coming up. It's like, wow, look at that. That view, ooh, ah. It's amazing. Carry on, driver. I'm your Uber today. You are my Uber. Do I get tipped? Nope. Look at this house right here. 333 three, three so with cool. a puppy dog. That is so cool. Puppy. He's like, I see people every day. And I'm like, they don't have a car, they just have little mopeds and a golf cart. That's all they have to be on the island. That's awesome. Should we move here? Yes. <laughs> Should we? <laughs> Check this out. This is a creepy pet cemetery. This is crazy.
Get out of the cemetery, weirdo. This <laughs> is awesome. John. Oh my gosh. Poor little nibbles and buttons and. That's amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. That is kind of creepy. Like, I mean, we've always buried our pets like in our backyard or whatever, but here they have a whole place devoted to it. Secret to younger skin right here, sunscreen. You might want to work it in a little bit better. Yeah, I will. I Thanks, so. though. You're welcome. We drove our golf cart to the Botanical Gardens, so it was $8 a piece to get into the Botanical Gardens, which I think is very reasonable. So now we're going to check it out. There's a huge path up to this um, cool looking structure. So we're going to try to make our way up there, although it's all uphill, but it'll be downhill on the way back. So. Oh look, I hear a woodpecker. There's a woodpecker up there. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not him. Is He's still up there him? somewhere. We are in, we are on what I'm calling Cactus Trail. Cactus. Oh, you made that up? Yeah. Oh, good job. Oh, look it's, at that. See, see it's shaking up there? There he is. I see the woodpecker. Do you see him? He's he right up there. He just landed on there. Yeah. There's another one on this tree. We used to have one in our yard. I used to hear them every morning out on our tree, but I don't hear them anymore. Shoot, I should have brought my zoom lens for this place. Wow, this is a lot of different kinds. Of, this is a different botanical gardens than I've ever been to. This is all cactus. Normally botanical gardens are all these, you know, flowers and greenery, and this is very different. Well, there's lots of greenery. It's all green. Yeah, it's all green, but you know what this I mean. This is the kind that you think about like in the wild, wild west. Yeah, look at this one. It's fuzzy and it looks like an octopus. Like looks it like looks a caterpillar. like a sea monster. Caterpillar. Yeah, a giant caterpillar, a sea monster, a fuzzy sea monster. But if we if we get stranded out here, Amy, and we run out of water, we can cut open a cactus and there's water inside. Really? I just bought a bottled water for two dollars. Well, that's, that's easier. So we made it to the base of this structure, whatever it is, but we have quite a few stairs to get up there. And this is kind of a trek up this path to here. So at least we're gonna work off some of our food. Hey, when you get up there, wave at me. No, you're coming with me. Say what? Yup. That's good exercise. Look at those stairs. I don't have my gimbal with me, so this is not gonna be real smooth. But you guys watching the video, you'll be able to get up the stairs a whole lot faster than us. Watch this. We made it. We're out of breath now though. It looks like there used to be a fountain, but it's not running right now. Oh, but I think we have to do more stairs no. to get it up in there. Look at that view though. It's the ocean way out there. Wow. I wonder what this is for. We should probably find a plaque somewhere that says, like weddings maybe, or is it a temple of some kind? I don't know. M.M. M. Wrigley Jr., September 30th, 61 to January 26th. Oh, this is his um, monument to, like his tombstone. This is quite a big tombstone. It is. That Wrigley Memorial and also the Wrigley house that we passed by, we couldn't go into it. That might be kind of cool to go into it. Same, same Wrigley that's connected with the Chicago Cubs and Wrigley Field in Chicago. And I guess the Cubs used to uh, do spring training here or something like that. We're trying to figure it out based on these plaques that we're reading, but that's pretty cool. And so he, uh, he's got this gigantic house. And we've got to do some research on that house and see um, if it's super cool. And how fitting is that since you love the Chicago Cubs and you love Wrigley Field. <laughs> Here we are. So, so what do you think, Amy? Give, give everyone a rundown of what just happened. So it's really cool to walk through. I mean, you see all weird cactus, like weird, but they're pretty cool. And then of course you go and you see the memorial and stuff. 
but it doesn't take a whole lot of time. What was it, maybe half an hour? Yeah. Yeah, but it's only $8 a person. And if you go to the memorial or whatever that is, go up the left side, not the right side. Yes, we figured that out. We went up the side with billions and billions of stairs, maybe not quite billions, but when you come, when you do the other side, which we went down, it's these great big steps and there's maybe and only, sloped, yeah, you know, there's maybe only 15 of them instead of the way we went. What are we doing now? I don't know. We're going to go um, cruise the rest of the island. All right. It's my turn to drive. All right. So this is the Avalon Island Conservatory. It's actually closed right now because we got up so early this morning. It's open 10 to 4. And from what we can tell, there's a few exhibits and stuff, but a gift store, stuff like that. They so. told me that you can learn about the animals of the area kind of a thing. Awesome. And so, oh, oh, they just opened I it. I hear a door open. Should opening. we go in? because maybe they saw us here. Maybe, maybe we should go in. Oh, here's some of the bugs they have. Oh, look at that stick bug. We get, we've been getting bugs in a lot of our videos. That's true. Aw, look at the foxes. Where can we They're find cute. one? I wanna go find one. Well, you're not and allowed to feed them. And hold them and kiss them no. and hug them. And you're not allowed to feed them. I remember seeing that. Here, you can color, color a Catalina Island fox. Oh, and they have scavenger hunts. So it seems hey, like take, there's take some of those for Eva and Ella. They would love there's, those. There seems like there's some stuff the kids could do here, like scavenger hunts, coloring. Yeah, I bet they would color all. Of, I bet they'd Should do I all get of two of each? Yeah. And there's a nature, and there's a word hunt. Yeah. I don't know what I picked out. You have to look through it all. Does this mean we don't have to buy <laughs> cheap souvenirs? <laughs> I think we should probably still buy some. I know. I was kidding. <laughs> Hey, let's see if we can find anything. Let's see if we can find one of these words. But comment down below if you find a word. Okay, so we learned a little bit about island living. It's the, I don't know, I love this island feel. I'm driving by people on the golf cart and they wave and I wave back and it seems like everyone's a great big family, so it's awesome. Um, so we learned that sometimes they buy their groceries in LA and take them back on the ferry because it's cheaper. So it's about 30 bucks each way, 20 to 30 yeah. on the boat. Yep. Yeah. So, and you it takes know, about an hour, they said. Right. So sometimes they do that. Sometimes Amazon delivers to the island, they said. So sometimes their pantry items, they can order on Amazon and have them dropped off. That's pretty cool. So anyway, I don't know. I, seem, I think it would be a really cool experience to live on an island like this. Um, but I'm sure there are its pros and cons, but I don't know. It's really awesome and intriguing. They gave us some restaurant ideas also, so yes. I'm not sure what we're going to land on. So now the lobster, what do they call the it? The lobster, lobster trap. trap. I think that's what we I want. We actually have had several recommendations for that, haven't we? Yeah. So we might have to do that since they say that's like the local favorite. It's locally owned. and um, So we might have to try out the lobster trap. Even though I don't like seafood, they said that there are a bunch of um, other options there too. If we so. lived here, you'd have to get to liking seafood. I don't think I could. I just... I don't think I could. I've tried what it. What is it about seafood you don't like? The smell, the <laughs> taste, the texture, oh. basically everything. Okay. <laughs> All right. Back into our cart. You have everything we need. Last time you forgot it all in the back. You had to keep Oh, we out. left our key in here. Someone could have just taken off oh. with our golf oh, cart. My. Okay, so behind me is the zip line. This is one of the short excursions you can do through Carnival if you want to. We are not going to do it, although it does look beautiful. They're way out there. I think someone else might be coming down. Oh, here, here they go, go, here they go. Cool. Oh, that's so awesome. They said they have five lines here. So you get to go five times. Wow, that's That's cool. awesome. Yeah, we've been driving, driving, driving. We wondered if we were going the right way, but here we are, see? We started here by the rentals and we went, and then we went up here, the botanical gardens came back down around and around and around. And now we are right here by the zip line. We're gonna go around and then we're gonna go over here and can see the casino. We don't gamble, but they said there's some really, it, that it's really cool to look it's at. It's a Wrigley building. Yeah, it's and there's a theater in there, which they said is amazing. There's a museum and an art gallery in there. So we're gonna check that out. Hopefully all by 11.30, because we gotta turn in our golf cart in, at 11.30. And we're trying to figure out how to move here. We found a house for sale overlooking the ocean. Yeah, it was beautiful, but it was um, $2.3 million. It seems like every house we've seen, you know, when we were at Naples Island and now here, has been in that price range, which is way out of our price range. So, all right. Off we go. 
Go kart way of life. So if we lived here though, we wouldn't have to buy a car. We could just buy a go uh, yeah, um, golf cart, which is a good thing because gas here is 6.37 a gallon. We pay 2.15 at home in Branson, Missouri. Buckle up. Buckle up for safety. So this is the city of Avalon Dive Park and behind me you can see people snorkeling and diving and stuff like that. So that's something cool you can do here. Right behind us. Over here is like this private resort where there's a private beach and cabanas. It looks really beautiful. And look at this, like all built into the side of the mountain. That's awesome. This is beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna go up in here maybe. Yeah, we'll see what's in here. We wanna at least look that's at the it. Casino. So yeah, they've got a theater in there, an art museum, stuff like that. Like, so. Man, look at that guy parasailing way out there. Yeah, they say you go 800 feet up. Um, it seems cool, but I don't think it's something I would want to do. I don't like heights. So, um, but if you've ever gone parasailing, comment down below. Let us know how you liked it. So apparently, this is still Los Angeles County because they have Los Angeles County Fire Department here, paramedics. Okay, so what we found out is that this is not a gambling casino. I guess we always think of casino meaning gambling, <clears throat> but in Italian, casino means gathering place. And so this has a huge dance floor up on the top with you know um, views all the way around stuff like that and then there's a theater where they have the first talking movies here so you can't go in to gamble or anything like that that's not what it is but you can take tours in the morning and then in the evenings they have movies playing here so that's this kind place of how it is works big 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 yes it's and i'm sure it's beautiful inside i don't know if we're going to take a tour but um that's something you can do if you come here tours the 45 minute tour is 19.99 i think she said so around 20 bucks and then the hour and a half long tour behind the scenes is 30 bucks a person. So, yeah. So here's a ropes course. Remind me, we just passed the Descanso Beach Club, which is a place to relax. And now here right next to it is this cool looking ropes course slash zip line. That looks really super cool. Look at that. So this is a pretty cool course. I, I hear zipping. Yeah. Whoa, there they go, there. there they go. Oh, you're squishing me. <laughs> I heard the zing. Oh, he goes way up there. I don't know if you be, I don't know if you all are able to see that or not. That was cool. I think we made a new friend. Look at this guy. I shall call him Bambi. Don't run away. Okay, Amy, where are we at? We are at the Descanso Beach Resort. I guess they said Descanso means what, relax or take a break or something like that. So it looks amazing. I hear more zipping. Well, there you go. Oh no, that's a bird. Where's he oh, at? There is a zip line, I hear it. Oh, way up there on the hill. Catalina zip line. Look at this. Yes, I can definitely see how this is a place to relax. I and mean, look at this beach. This is amazing. Wow. Lovely. Look at that. And there you see the casino, which by the way means gathering place, not necessarily gambling. Cool. I think we should probably move here. It's pretty awesome. And the weather is amazing. The restaurant right up there. All right. What do you think? Well, we should probably go turn in our golf cart and then we can explore all the shops and restaurants in the little downtown area. We just got back. We just turned in our golf cart. Amazing. Definitely recommend this. I think this is the way to see the island. We were able to get way out on all the places we wouldn't be able to walk to. And as you can see behind me, they rented out all their golf carts. So definitely There's get ours there. right there. There's ours. They're parking. And I think someone's about to rent it. 
So definitely get here early to rent your golf cart or reserve it in advance and you'll be glad you did. I think it was the perfect choice for the day. And so now we still have four hours, so we're gonna go do some other things, just yes, walk around the town. we're gonna get lunch, and then there's a lot of shopping and things to see walking, so. You can uh, rent a bike also, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> that is so cool. All the Cubs stuff. So we're here outside the lobster trap. This is what several people have recommended, locals, several locals have recommended to us. So we figured they know what they're talking about, so we're gonna try it out. Hi. Hi, how are you for two? Yes. yes. All right, so here is my lobster salad. And here's Amy's gluten-free lemon chicken. Looking good, yeah? Woo, baby. So that was really awesome food. Highly recommended. I can see why the locals say it's awesome. Kind of like a local dive. Just, that's, just a, yeah. That's, yeah, that's what they say, but it is so good. And that is the best gluten-free lemon chicken I have ever had. And did you like your lobster salad? Great lobster salad. Okay, so now we're gonna go see if we can find dessert and also maybe play an escape game because there's a couple of escape rooms around here, so. Let's go find dessert. Okay, what's happening here, Amy? All right, look what I got. We went to Scoops and got ice cream. This is amazing. It's called Rose Petal Raspberry. I love rose, I love rose everything. I've rose scented soap and body wash and deodorant. And now I'm eating ice cream. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I've decided we're going to move to Catalina Island. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm Yep. So it's done. It has been decided. And that's what a hot fudge sundae looks like when it tastes good. Just like that. How about you? This is awesome. Are you ready to walk? Nope. That's kind of cool. Amy, I don't ever want to get back on the ship. <laughs> I want to stay here. You think anyone's ever done that? I probably. Maybe not permanently, but maybe they've been like, I'm not getting back on the ship. I'll rent on vacation and I'll rent a little hotel and stay a few more days. We're going to check out the Catalina room escape. So Let's some of you might not, not know, we own escape rooms. And so we like to try them out wherever we go. So we'll see if this is open. It says reservations required. And it is locked. So you have to have a reservation. We didn't, we haven't had real good internet. So we haven't been able to um, get online to make a reservation, but it looks like um, a lot. Oh, that's all right. What, have a, what a lot of escape rooms do is they only come in when there's bookings um, and they require reservations. And since there were no, we didn't book online, we just thought we'd try walking in and they're not here. So it's okay. And by the time they would get here, we'd probably have to be headed back to the ship. So we'll find other fun stuff to do. Oh, look, someone does rock painting. My mom does this. Aren't they pretty? Oh, they're so pretty. So um, we're just walking through a cute little neighborhood and- The ocean order, is straight ahead, right where those big tall palm trees are. Yeah, and in order to live here, you have to have a small car because the roads here are really narrow. For the most part, as we were walking by a big car. <laughs> yeah, and but Look at this one, look at this one over here. Little tiny car, and then you have all of these golf carts everywhere, Some parked people everywhere. Have larger cars, but I think it's better to have a small one. Yeah, most people have the smaller ones. It makes it easier because you got these trucks going by you on these really narrow roads, so it's easier to have a golf cart or a small car. But it's so cool. There's vacation rentals everywhere. So I guess if you wanted to come to Catalina Island and stay a few days, you could probably go to Airbnb or VRBO 
and rent a vacation rental here. They have to have in the windows, they have all these little um, certificates that say whether it's a vacation rental and they are all up and down the street. So that's how we know. So in order to move here, we're gonna have to buy a vacation rental and a golf cart. There you go. Probably two golf carts. Then I'll have to find my favorite coffee shop and where I'm gonna spend most of my days. See, they're not, they weren't surfboards the other day. They were paddle boards. It's different. So you thought something was a surfboard? No, remember I said, what is that? It almost looks like a surfboard, but it's bigger. And you said, it is a surfboard, ha ha ha. And now, wow, that's a cool park. And now we should go look at that park. Wait and a minute, now that's, that's multiple topics <laughs> in one sentence. Yeah, that's a woman for you. Anyway, but, but then you laughed at me and said, ha ha, that is a surfboard, but it's called a paddle board, the bigger one. Oh. So, but Was that like an I told you so moment? Yes, exactly. What's that? Should we go look? It's just a park. We thought we'd share with you some things to do that we didn't do today in case you're coming to Catalina Island and none of the things that we went over you're interested in. There's lots of water sports. Now we did not go out on the water today, but you may have seen the big giant inflatables or if you have kids or even you, if you want to do it, you can jump on those and jump in the water. That would be super fun. There's snorkeling and diving. There's glass bottom boats and boats that you can take to look for dolphins things like that so a lot of the water stuff it was like a submarine oh yeah cool a submarine and then there's stuff like of course um shopping but we saw a lot of spas salon and spas so if you just wanted to get a massage and you know relax and take it easy there's that sort of stuff let's see help me out john what oh else man we had what parasailing there oh, was yes scuba diving, snorkeling, all that water stuff. Did I you say that? You did say that? You said all of that? <laughs> I, said all of I was that. looking off into the distance oh, at, yeah. at our beautiful uh, cruise ship back there. <laughs> uh, and then uh, what about all these bed and breakfasts and restaurants and you know places to stay if you're not on a cruise ship? Yes, of course. So if you evidently you can take a little ferry over from the mainland for maybe 30 bucks. And so you could take your luggage with you, find a little bed and breakfast or a little hotel here and stay for a couple of days and do a bunch of stuff. You know, lots of tours that can take you around the island. We saw these big old Jeeps that were transporting people to the botanical gardens in different places. And let's see, there's electric bikes, there's regular bikes, depending, you know, how much you trust your calf muscles there. <laughs> and so yeah, tons and tons to do as you first come off um, the ship, you are seeing tons of different things that you can do, tons of different things that you can rent, different adventures you can do, so no shortage there. We hope you enjoyed this look at things to do on Catalina Island. We sure had fun today. This is our first time. I hope we get to come again. This, is, this, was, this was one of the best days ever. It was. It really was one of the best days ever. So safe travels, everyone. Now take a look at this view. This is amazing. Never gets old. Let's take them over there. Oh look, there's a snorkeler right out there. That water share looks awesome. You can see right to the bottom. Hey look, there we are. There's our there's our shadows. <laughs>